everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh. Happy Easter. And if you don't celebrate Easter, happy spring. Nice three day weekend. Market closed Good Friday tomorrow. Love the three day weekends. Anyways, guess what? I actually went long today. There was only one good solid gap today, which I thought was KBH. There was a bunch of other things, but I wasn't crazy about them. And the market was really weird today. I'll do another video on that later, but let's just look at the KBH. So what did I like? I liked the gap, it rated well, rated 22 points per the bullish golden gap system, so I wanted to do it. The problem was though, initially, the market fell hard into the morning, into the open, and so did KBH. I prefer to short. I mean, everyone pretty much knows that about me, but I will tell you that one of the reasons I don't do longs every single solitary day, even though you can, you can look for good bullish gaps, but I prefer the shorts because longs seem to do these taily things a lot. It's like a machine. You get them a lot. And that's really what happened here. Now I'm gonna show you. I didn't even do the first entry in this. I did the second entry in it. And then what happened, the room got booted, came back, ended up taking the train. Then everybody came back in the room and then we ended up doing it late. So what happened was the, the KBH opened very, very strong, but then it broke the low. Didn't have a problem with that. Didn't have a problem with anything with that, except for the fact that then it came in here. Actually, I'm seeing this now, this reverse swooshed. <laughs> I didn't even dawn on me and actually, we'll have to go over this on Monday. So anyways, to make a long story short, I did not go along this here. And now that I'm seeing this, it would have been incorrect. What I do like about this and what I did like about this is this retracement, this huge big bar that came in here that was buying after the drop off. And you see the level here? So the low of this first bar here was 1379. The high of this bar here is what? 1379. So if you looked at this, if I drew this, I don't think you can see it on the five, but let's find out if you can. No, you can't. It's, it took place let me just see where. Oh, the best thing I can show you is this, but it's a 15 minute bar. This isn't really what I was trying to show you, but that that's not really what I was trying to show you. I, I, I can't show you because I, it doesn't look right in a five or a one, but I'm saying if, if I got rid of all this, hold on. You look at this and you think this is bad, 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 Melissa, to buy. But then you see this, and I'm trying to say if I drew this, if I actually made a seven minute bar, if there was such a thing, the bar would look a lot better than, than this. It would not look bearish, okay? It would either look bullish or bullish slash neutral. So it was good. So then it came in, bought this in here, beautiful entry in here, rally went right to the target. And that was it. And, and, and really it actually pulled in and had a couple other setups, but I knew it was going to act today like the market was a Friday, even though it was Thursday because we had a holiday. And so I wanted to do one quick trade today anyways. That was my plan of action. This was a bigger move in here to do it, but it was very aggressive. And I actually didn't catch this right away because we had the issues with the room, but this actually did open a reverse swoosh. So this was, I'm glad I did this. I mean, I'm glad I did this period, but this would have been very aggressive because of the reverse swoosh. Anyways, it did pull back, set up again. You could even do this in the afternoon. But do you see here, it never went back up to the high. The only explanation for that is what? It's basically was the day before a holiday. So everything kind of pitted off in the afternoon. The time to play was the morning. It's always the time as far as I'm concerned to play gaps, to get in and get out. I never like to trade in the afternoon. Could this have gone back over the high? Yes. Is this a watch for Monday? Yes, yes it is actually. This could follow through and go to the next number. 1415, 1430, 1435, 1450. 1450 would have been the dream target today, and I really thought it could have got there, but the market wasn't cooperating in the morning, and then once this hard sell-off came in, it kind of lost its mojo. I mean, it had the move, I went long this, I made money, we were up. But I'm saying this, this, this move in here lost the mojo for it to do what it really needed to do, which was to get to 1450. And that, that would have been a jimongous move for the stock, because it only normally moves like 50, 60 cents in a day. So there was no chance, no chance that KBH was going to go to 1450 and then once it broke like it did in the morning and bounced up at 1334. And this really, this really was not anything of significance. But you get a lot of tails in, in longs and you have to be willing to deal with it. You have to be slightly patient or you're aggressive and scalp it and then you wait a little bit for the patience or 
or, or you just prefer to short. But I, I, I do like to do longs when I have the best gap that's a long. So today there was no amazing shorts. So the best gap today for the long side, really, pre-market that I saw was this. Actually, I had earnings last night, so I wanted to do it. I think it doesn't matter what you do in the day as long as you take the best gap. And since it's not earnings season, that's what I wanted to do. But you must be able consciously to handle this kind of thing. It's a pain in the butt, but this was not a spready stock to trade. But you have these things happen. You do need to be more conscious of that. There's more machines and longs than there is to the downside shorting stocks. So that's why you get these tails and you get more tails and you always will ever in stuff that gaps up for the setups when you're going long rather than the downs. I mean, I, I, I don't even remember the last time I got shaken out in a tail in a, in a shorting a bearish gap. I, I can't even think of one the whole last year. I'll have to ask the room that on Monday. I cannot even think of one that I got shaken out of a tail that went on to work. It's just so, so rare, but it happens a lot in longs unless you're patient and wait or aggressive scalp it and get in at the right time. I'm not saying this happens every day, but I'm saying it did. It did. In this case though, no one should have gotten sh shook out because no one really should have gone long this right out of the gate. You gotta wait for the setup. And it did set up. It just, it, to me, it was a better setup a little bit later, being patient to get the confirmation. Anyways, nice KBH, nice golden gap, bullish gap, best gap of the day. Follow through, yes. Close neutral, this should follow through on Monday, next week. Have a great weekend, everyone. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you would like more information. Remember, the, the Golden Gap class price is increasing on April 1st. There are so many amazing things that are happening in April. So if you want to do the class, sign up by March 31st. You will save 1000 bucks because the price is going up to $49.99. And you'll get the room free till July and the wealth class free if you sign up by Easter. This is a great deal. And if you want to do it, the gap, the gap class is actually April 2nd and 3rd. It's Saturday and Sunday. And the bullish class is the following week. So it's the 5th, 6th, and 7th. So you can do either one or both. Have a great night, everyone. Have a fabulous weekend. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for more information or if you want to sign up for the class.